Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you a great way to auto scale and format your DAX calculation. Now this can be especially useful when you're using a measure that is outputting multiple custom values as a string such as the KPI card you can see here. Now the credit for this formula doesn't go to me, I only adopted it. This was originally shown by Kane Schneider in a calculation groups video showcasing a formula designed by Jeff Weir. Now I'll provide all of the relevant links to this down in the video description below. But otherwise, let's hop into Power BI and get started. So what I want you to do is pay attention to the cards at the top. You'll notice that I actually have a measure that is returning a string, where I have combined both a value and a percentage into here, into a card that is also then layered with a custom visual sparkline. I've done some other videos on that, so if you're curious about the layering or how I made the sparkline card, as you see there, I'll link you down to the video below. But let's observe what happens to these numbers when I filter it. If I select Deluxe here and add a filter to some of these, notice as an example, the United States is still showing 6.9 million, but Germany, which is less than a million now, is showing 755.9 thousand, formatted with a K. So what we actually have here is a DAX measure that's intelligently identifying what scale this is at and then formats it accordingly. Let's go ahead and select one of the cards here. If I select the United States, come over to the measures section here and open up my base calculation. Let's look at the measure that we have here. And I'll zoom in a little bit. So what we have is a couple of variables declared. I have my percentage here at the top, which is nice and simple. That's just my variance percentage for a year over year calculation. Now the safe log here, I won't go into the entire detail of how entirely this was made because again, I'm adopting this from a presentation that I saw of Keen Schneider who showed how to use this in calculation groups. So in that case, what I will actually do is I will link you to the video description for that and you can watch this plus many other demos of the calculation groups. And this one was specifically developed by Jeff Weir that was demoed by Kane Schneider. Really cool stuff and he goes into deep, deep DAX on so many useful ways to use calculation groups and in this case do custom formatting. But this is basically returning out a safe logarithmic number that is then able to be switched where depending on the scale that it's at, whether or not it's at a one, two, three, or four, it is gonna format in thousands, millions, billions, or trillions. And then I'm concatenating those together in my result variance with the number and the percentage here, returning to that, and that is how I am able to get these numbers here, and that allows them to intelligently scale depending on which of these I'm filtering on. As you can see, more of them are now filtered down to the thousands, so as they scale down or up, those numbers will intelligently change. And it looks a lot better on a card when I'm trying to create a compact space, especially when I'm concatenating multiple values together like that. Overall, this is just another great way to use that formula outside of the calculation group use cases. So again, thank you to Kane Schneider and Jeff Weir and check out their links in the description below to this. They do really cool stuff with DAX and calculation groups. Highly encourage you to check out their content. But otherwise, I love the fact that I was able to take this out put this into a card and then use this with concatenated strings for a lot of the custom cards that I like to build as part of the visualization magic that I do. So hopefully you found this useful. Please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Now, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. Also, feel free to show your support by becoming a channel member. Last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below. So until next time.